Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved Wicker Man here, and welcome back to the Leash No Server. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing great. I know I am. It's almost Christmas, and I'm feeling the vibes. A lot of stuff has happened on the server, and I am ready to take you guys through a small update here, if you don't mind. We have this beautiful small market here built by Russian Afroman himself. Is actually on at the moment. How cool is that? Uh, I think you made all of the boots or stalls here, and you can actually buy stuff from here if you want to. Also, there's like this llama ranch where you can rent llamas, I think, or I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps you can like rent one or take one or kill one or do whatever you want with one. I don't even want to know what you want to do to it. But we have llamas. We have a lot of different stores. Like we can buy some chicken here. We can buy tea man shirts. Oh. That's a cool one. The T-Man synthetic shirt. I might want to have that one. What's the price? What is the price? Two diamond blocks. No way, of course. Eh? That's way too expensive for a poor guy like me. And we have cactuses. We have... What is this? What is that? For Justice Enterprise? I can't even read that top sign here. Come on now. I'm not breaking this, I'm not doing something bad, I, I just want to get updated. Reserved, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Reserved for Justice Enterprise. Ho, ho, ho. We are now at the brand spanking new area, which I have never showed you guys before. Bubble, bubble, bubble here on the screen. Right down here, we have the Christmas contest area and you guys are probably wondering what's that all about and I'm here to tell you so don't you guys worry last year we had a building contest which me and Russian Afroman arranged and it was great fun not everyone a few of the guys built their own house we had like a contest the best building and the best Christmas themed and the best interior and stuff like that it was great fun and we had like a winner after all and stuff like that he had a nice prize for him and yeah, it was just very fun, and this year we are doing the same thing, a little bit different, but I think it should do a trick. So, let me read the rules for you. This year we are going for an ur for urban builds, so use the whole plot and have a sort of straight facade. Building he height is two floors, you may add an attic, if you want to put like above your two floors in the roof or the whatever <laughs> you can put another store there um, 25th of December the contest is over and we are going to vote everyone votes an anonymously from 1 to 10 on exterior interior and the Xmas vibes the best total score wins a nice prize so I think that should be pretty clear everyone can vote uh, so we'll have like a chest perhaps where they can vote in a book or something uh, from 1 to 10 rate like rate all the houses here and we'll have like a winner after all and this is my plot I have I'm, I want to do the best here I want to be I want to win this contest you know because why the heck not why should we not win so I have a good idea in my mind I don't know if I can fulfill it here on the server because it's kind of resource heavy but we can try it's gonna be mostly bricks so uh, let's start off with getting rid of all this ugly ass idiot netherrack and then start placing some bricks because basically that's what I want to have like just a brick square kind of you know like an urban a uh, New York building like Brooklyn or harem harem whatever those kind of buildings that's what I'm going for and we're gonna do a lot of Christmas decorations of course to make it look really nice in the end I hope what is going on with the world guys yesterday there was two stabs in my town I live in a small town like in Norway it's a big town but compared to the rest of the world it's a small town you know uh, Norway has less people or the less the less population than uh, like New York on its own or London on its own. There's basically no people here and in my small town there was two stabs yesterday. A 14 year old kid was stabbed and he died. What is going on? I can't believe what is happening and it's happening in my small town. It's scary and it kind of freaks me out and just gives me the bad vibes. It's Christmas time and I'm supposed to be really happy. I am, but still it kind of drags me down a little bit. 
And the worst thing is that today I was at work and I was listening to the news while uh, doing some stuff and I heard that there was two more stabs in a city very close to mine and uh, just a few miles off and I, I can't understand what's going on here right now. It's Norway, it's little Norway, there are like six million people here. That's nothing and so many stabs on two days straight, I, I don't know. I don't know, which is horrible. What is happening to the world? I can't explain myself. I just, I don't know what what to say. This may be like daily stuff for you living in, in America or something like that. But in Norway, th this is just horrible. I, I, I don't know, man. I, ca I can't believe it. So I'm just a little bit upset about that. But I hope that's not gonna weigh my video down here. I hope I'm just gonna. Am I completely out? I'm already out of bricks. I'll have to get even more. Ah, they, that's, that sucks a lot. But anyway, let's go some sleep and go get some more clay. This area is like clay heaven. There's so much clay here. And that makes my job getting them a lo whole lot easier. And I spare a lot of time so I can focus a little bit more on the building. So that's cool. Just take a look around here. There's clay. Almost everywhere, or <laughs> more than usual at least, and that's that's pretty cool. That makes me happy. Hey mine! Hey! <laughs> What's going on? How are you doing? You're looking freaking fresh with your 3D glasses and stuff like that. Are you going to build here with me? You are? Oh cool. He's gonna use Shulkabarsa because he's so freaking rich. It looks like Russian Afterman has also started doing some work. Or perhaps just briefing with all of, all of his Shulka boxes. So, yeah, I got a lot of clay here from Clay Heaven, so let's burn some. Let's melt those into a nice round red bricks, so we can start doing some more work here. And while that's melting, let me try to explain how I want to do my build. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like this New York, Brooklyn townhouse. You would have, like, perhaps, like, a store in downstairs, and... Like a, an apartment on top. I don't know how we'll do the interior yet. I would have to to work a little bit around that. So we're gonna have a door here on this side, I think, and then a big window here, which you could use for like a shop or something, like showing off your products and stuff. And then we'll have two windows upstairs. No, three windows, I think, is what I did in my testing world. And then we're gonna have a roof on it and like a small room on top in this like the attic there, with some nice windows towards the street here and I think it my building will look good in the end but I also think this whole street will look amazing when everyone has been building their houses adding a lot of Christmas decor and stuff like that Rich and Afroman is an amazing builder so uh, looking forward to having him as my neighbor maybe it drags my build a little bit down makes me my place doesn't look that good after he's done perhaps perhaps not I don't know uh, let's take a look at the other builds here for a little bit <laughs> while my bricks are melting. Justice 88, my I Icelandic, Icelandic, whatever he's from Iceland, uh, my Icelandic friend, uh, the home of the Santa of Justice. Oh, the interior is super cozy. Very cozy place. Really gives me like this home cottage feeling. Very nice. Upstairs, a little plain yet. I bet he's still working on it. Outstairs, like the outstairs outside the exterior is like 5 of 10 I think it's not nothing too fancy but maybe if I add some more Christmas decor here it might look pretty nice and then we have Cosmic Chris 5 uh, you should check out his streams by the way he makes some really nice and very cozy streams looking nice uses some quartz and some dark oak and then this is it T-Man yeah T-Man Chua's place Going for more of this wooden style, probably a little bit more Christmas-ish. It's looking good so far. He even has a Christmas tree. That's something we have to add in my place. So this is looking pretty cool, actually. Uh, so now my bricks should be melted, at least some of them. And we can start doing some more work. I have been doing some more work on our build here. And it's starting to take shape. I've added a lot of this normal stained clay here to the wall to make it look a little bit more old, a little bit more worn out, as I like to do. I like to give my houses like this personality, uh, make it look like it's it's been used by a few couple of people. Uh, it's it's not brand new, you know. Give it a personality, give it a character, and it's starting to look 
nice. I think, what do you guys think? Uh, we have still had to add a lot of details to the facade of this build, but it, it looks like almost like this uh, American townhouse. You can also add the roof on here using some acacia wood. Uh, with, uh, yeah, just like an arch roof like that. And I think it, it's looking pretty cool. So, uh, do I, I hope I have more, <laughs> I have more bricks on me. Yes, I do. So I want to add some details on the facade here in the beginning before we start moving into the inside and working on interior. I want to do some exterior detailing. So let's crack on with that, shall we? So what I want to do, I've been I've been playing a little bit in a testing world uh, before I start building here just because yeah, that makes everything a lot more easier and trying to get the resources and stuff and forehand is yeah, it's more time saving to actually plan a little bit ahead of time. So for you guys' enjoyment, I like to do a lot of work before I actually start recording. So I like this detailed trim like that, and then we'll have another one above it, uh, just beneath like the roof here. Uh, it's very common in, you know, these type of buildings. Kind of, it kind of feel like it's Victorian. So you know, like in Victorian houses and stuff like that. Don't I have more? No? Okay, let's use the bricks now for like temporary block. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like a Victorian house and it's very common to have like these detailed trims and stuff around there. Uh, yeah, just to try to keep it as similar as like this urban house that, as possible. So yeah, that looks a whole lot better just adding that small thing there. And there's another small thing I want to do. If I can break you, I can place one stair upside down above that. So let's see how that looks. That look nice. And once we add those uh, above the windows in the second floor as well, it should really look cool. We'll bring like the pieces together. Make sure that we use the same technique all over the facade of the build to, yeah, kind of this red thread through the whole build. It looks a whole lot better, I think. So let's add these upside down stairs on top of here, like that that and then go down and take a look yeah that looks pretty cool it really adds some depth to the build I really like it but first off hey creeper I know what you want to but I will not let you I will keep on torturing you with my <laughs> punch two bow my horrible bow let's take a look on Tim's place T-man have been building and it's starting to look awesome very cool wooden structure. I showed you like the beginning parts of it earlier, uh, but he has done a lot of progress. And also Russian Afroman has been doing some work. And yeah, this place is really starting to take shape. People are really just working their asses off here to make this come alive, give this a nice cozy Christmas feeling. So I'll do some more work here and I'll be back to you in a bit. I think it looks very nice so far. I added a few more uh, bits and bobs here and there and I think it's really starting to look the way I imagine it to look and how I want it to look. So since the last clip I added these leaves kind of like this border or something going here. Um, I don't know if that's common like in other countries in Norway but in Norway we decorate with like this spruce leaves these are actually oak leaves but i think they look a little bit better in a build like this uh, but it's decorated with spruce leaves and then we'll have like lights and stuff small lights and uh, spruce leaves and perhaps some decorations and stuff like that but i think it looks really cool it gives me the christmas vibe and i have some more blocks here i want to use where are those um probably in here yes so we are going to add some uh, small touches to this decoration here to make it look even more fantastic than it already does. So probably gonna add like one there and then maybe one here and then another one up here. So gold and red is very like this Christmas colors combined with the green. It looks really nice and I'm gonna add a few more on top of here as well. All the way on the top and you can take a better look on like the, this uh, piece right here which I added. Another window in the attic. I think it looks really nice. I like it a lot. So, yeah, just something really simple I wanted to add. Then add some of this decoration here. And the facade is almost done, I think. It's looking 
really cool. I like it. It's very cozy. Definitely got the Christmas feeling to it. So I think it's for us now to just get on to the inside. Well, first, actually, let's put a door here. Let's make this entrance because I want to use the dark oak wood for... Ah, crap. I'm so bad at crafting on camera. I feel like... Ah, you see, guys, every time I'm crafting on camera, something goes wrong. Uh, yeah, I need you because I need some some slabs like that. You see you guys, I suck at this. I really suck on crafting on camera. I hope you guys don't unsubscribe <laughs> for that because that's nothing really I can do with it. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. Uh, get in here all of you. <laughs> Run in there. And then we'll have this one right there and then a door right here. I hope you don't mind that I'm building outside my plot while I'm already done with the decoration. So it should be fine. We have a nice small entrance going in here and it's really, really cozy. I really like the vibes it brings me. So the interior is probably going to be the hardest part because it's so small. The inside is eight by eight or seven by seven. I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven by seven, that's a very small area for interior so I'll have to do some thinking and I'll be back with you in just a blink of an eye so I got the basic layout of the first floor done I haven't really tackled it upstairs yet but downstairs should be good I've been doing some thinking and I think I got like the most efficient floor plan that's possible for a, such a small build at least if you want to have all the, the most important stuff so let's begin with the entrance uh, if I just can get out here uh, we have the entrance here, we have the stair set on the side going up to this open area right here. And then we'll have like this, yeah, kind of this divider here. This will be act like a divider for the stair. And the living room, which will be here, we'll have a fireplace right here. This is what this is symbolizing, we'll have like a block of netherrack and some fire and jazz like that. We'll have a small seating area right here, I think, with some stairs, pretending it's chairs and table and stuff. And then we'll squeeze in a small kitchen in the back and perhaps a small storage under a stair here. I think that should be the most efficient way of doing this. This is MTV and welcome to my crib. Are you ready guys to take a look? Welcome in to the humble Christmas house of Vigo man. What do you guys think? I put my soul and heart into this and I think it looks very nice. Very cozy, really Gives me the Christmas feeling. We have a fireplace burning. It's nice and warm. We even have a very small Christmas tree <laughs> in a pot right here on top of some books. Perhaps some Christmas stories are amongst those books there. And we have some nice, small, just a very simple, basic kitchen with a painting up here with some Christmas colors on them. I guess this is roses or something. Christmas roses. Um, yeah, very simple. And back here we have a small storage behind the stair with two chests. Very simple. I don't think there's anything else in that to point out. We got a very nice Christmas carpet here. Some chest pattern of red and green. I don't know if that looks Christmas, but yeah, it really do. There's nothing that looks more Christmas than these two colors combined. You can also see that on the outside with like the green leaves and then the red. It just really looks Christmassy. But now <laughs> the upstairs is undone and there should also be a way to get up to like the, this area to the attic. And I don't know how to get up there now because a staircase yeah it could be kind of hard. Perhaps use some um, use um, some ladders could work, or I don't know, man. The struggles of life, you know. So I, I, I don't know. I'll have to work a little bit on my own. It takes a while actually to figure out stuff like this. So that's the reason why I, uh, I like to work alone on this and get back to you guys when I figure something out, because it takes a whole lot of time. This episode will be very different if, if you were with me on all of this. So. I'll have to do some work, do some uh, almost math and calculating here to figure out how the room should go and get some way up to this upper floor and stuff like that. So see ya in a very short bit.
You go dead, you stupid idiot. As we are watching this tree being built and Russian Afroman looking at other stuff and running away. Yeah, I don't know, we're looking at a lot of stuff. So much is happening right here. I want to tell you that we have passed 100,000 total views on my channel. And it's super impressive. So thank you so much, every single one of you, for spending a little bit of your time on watching the videos I make. It's something I really do enjoy making and I really appreciate some feedback and all of you watching it. It really just makes my day. Checking in every day, there's more views, more people subscribing, all that stuff. Also, we are only 50 subscribers away of reaching 1000 subscribers. So, uh, that's our goal for this year. 1000 subscribers is my goal for 2016. So, if you haven't done it already, but are considering if you should subscribe or not, please give me this Christmas present and subscribe to my channel. I promise you, you will not regret. So I've been doing a little bit of work here as well. Up here, uh, you can see like this staircase is going straight up here. I added a window here. And then we had first bedroom right here with another window to the back. It's super small. That's kind of the fun thing about this really small plots is you have to be creative and almost a little bit smart to make it look good. So we have a bed, bookshelf, another small Christmas tree, just a chest and a painting up here. Also here we have some more bookshelves, another Christmas tree, some lighting. Also put a crafting table in here. I'm not completely sure if I like it or not, but I think I'll stick it there for now. It looks like some kind of shelf or cupboard or something like that and also we have another bedroom back here with a bed this is a little bit bigger actually but we have a chest which i can open oh yeah i can open it uh and a flower and stuff like that it just really looks cozy and it gives me the christmas vibe i think uh, the downstairs is better though upstairs i haven't really done much and that's because i want this to be a surprise for you guys uh, this upstairs will be amazing in the end. I'll put so much effort into it in between episodes and we will come back here in a later episode when more of this area here is done to check it out. And yeah guys, so you should definitely come back and watch the, a video in the future where we have done the upstairs if you are interested. So I think that's about it for today's episode. I don't think there's anything left for me to do. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe and all that stuff. And I will see you guys later. It has been Viggo Man. <laughs>